Hello guys and welcome to Spiritual Findings. I'm Vera Lynn and today we're going to be doing a tarot reading from the original Rider Waite deck. Now first off, I can feel that energies are just all funked up and I almost want to say you're at the point where you're more irritated, there's more aggression, um, resentment in what you're feeling right now and you might not be sure how to really control it. Um, so the first card that pops up here is you have the Four of Cups. So I can definitely relate to this, that there is a lot going on right now, but we're not really seeing the brighter side of things, the opportunities that are being handed to us that normally wouldn't. We're still focused on the coulda, shoulda, woulda, or what I could have done better in this type of situation. I mean, you can definitely see the body posture, um, the opportunity from the divine, messages from the divine being sent from above, but he's not even paying attention because he's more focused on what is right in front of him. So sometimes we need to kind of look up, you know, um, stop focusing on what's right in front of us, stop focusing on the problems, stop focusing on you know the solutions that won't work and just try to focus on things in a different perspective and maybe you'll find one that'll inspire the right way the right way to hire um to hire <laughs> handle things you know i don't know maybe you do need to hire some help um I know I can definitely relate to that with uh, things that have been going on the scenes with spiritual findings. There's a lot going on. We've been definitely doing a lot more with the community, um, getting people together. Um, and it's really a beautiful thing. That's kind of why I've been a little bit absent for, you know, my spirit family here on YouTube. Why well, I've been a little bit absent because there's a, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. And um, I know things will unravel for you guys in the future and you'll understand. But for the time being, I wanted to jump back on here and get in touch with everybody. So shout out, comment below if you haven't heard from me in a little bit. You can also join me on Facebook. I've been doing a lot of live streams there. The quality's a little bit better. It's not as uh, lagging as the streaming on YouTube here. All right, so we have the King of Cups. So a lot of emotions going on with this reading. Um, and like I said, with the starting out, I can kind of feel the energy. It's, it's a little bit chaotic. It's a lot of emotions. And when things pile up like that, you, you're you not really sure. You're, you're almost not even really clear-minded to act. So take a step back. Um, with the King of Cups, I do see a message, um, something coming along the way. Uh, you know, you do have something from the divine here, a message being brought to you from the divine. And with the pace of the horse and the messenger from the knight, I definitely see something bigger and better is going to happen to you. If you take the message from the divine, if you open up to your ancestors, um, you know, to past the loved ones, to your guides, to your angels, to your deities and you open up and you take whatever messages that they're just throwing at you that you've been ignoring there will be something obviously in the physical world that will be sent to you um, a message that I do think will benefit your finances it will benefit your relationships your friendships it'll um, you know it'll definitely overall boost up your morale which is what you need right now okay so we need to be focusing on some spiritual work some shadow work um, really finding what it is that makes us tick okay get to the root of things you know so many people are interested in finding the one finding the one when really they haven't even learned enough about themselves in order to have even a successful relationship and guys that is so important okay all right so we have, I'm reading everything upside down, we have the Six of Pentacles, guys. So there's a lot of give and take going on. Um, there's a lot of charity, a lot of small things that you could be doing around the household with your friends, family, community, that would really make you feel great. Okay, whether that's going out and gardening, going out and being involved with your local library, going out and being involved with the parades, um, you know, SPCAs, homeless shelters, whatever it is, um, you know, you'll be you'll be doing good and you'll be raising the vibration of others and more importantly, yourself. 
because you can't work on fumes. You can't. And when you do give back and you see the positive and, and it really didn't take that much effort or that much time or that much donation, it really in the end gives so much back to yourself and you know as a whole as a, as as you know this lovely green blue planet as a country community as a local village if we all had that mindset things would be a lot better you know and i do think with recent times we're kind of becoming more aware of that um and i appreciate that um, like I always say, sometimes chaos brings change, and right now it is chaotic, but don't worry, embrace it. All right, guys, um, I'm going to pull one from the fairies here. <sighs> Take a deep breath. I know a lot of people during this time, meditation is definitely something you need to be getting in on. Um, for any of you guys who are interested, comment below um, because we are unable to get together and things like that. I've been wanting to do online um, services and things like that, sessions, meditation, um, you know, just just getting spiritual with y'all, right? Because this is the way we got to do things for now. And um, like I said, I feel like unity is definitely going to come out of this, so... Let's embrace it. All right, let's see what the fairies have in store. If you guys would like to book a private session, go ahead and message me. You can message me on Facebook. You can message me on YouTube. We will get it done, all right? All right, this one's definitely jumping out at me here. Okay, let's see what we have in store here. Daughter, the answer to your question involves your daughter. So if you personally don't have a daughter, um, this could be a friend's daughter. This could be a niece. This could be, um, you know, somebody that you babysit, somebody that you mentor, somebody that you teach. Um, I always say this, and it definitely is true. I know you've all heard it, but the children are our future. Imagine if we took the time to teach every young, every young person uh, the capability to meditate. Okay, for them to re-energize their brains and and you know manipulate their own <clears throat> frequencies in a way that shows them how powerful they are. Right? The world would be a totally different place in 15 20 years now wouldn't it yeah so i think with this card popping out and i mean it could relate to to um a boy too as well for some of you guys but take that time with that young person in your life that is eager to learn because you know that they need a mentor or maybe just some wise words you know just to push them off in the right direction maybe some of you guys are expecting um you know a child and it'll turn out to be you know a lovely little girl or even some of you guys um are looking to become pregnant you know, this could be your sign, too, as well. You know, um, I love doing these on readings. I always kind of put a little spiel to it, and some people say that things click. Um, <clears throat> but the readings can be a little vague. If you guys would like to go ahead and book a session with me, go ahead and message me as well as... You know, it's been a little bit since I've done the pre-recorded readings, and I definitely get a little bit more... Like, I'll do different zodiac signs and months and things like that. Um, things will be changing on this channel just, just because that's that's the beauty of the world, right? Um, but, yeah, if you have any comments, suggestions, or anything like that, um, I know some of you guys have been with me for a few years now, and I appreciate that. Um, you know, and some of you guys are just joining me from around the world, and some of you guys are joining me from the local community. You know, you just got readings from me, so shout out to you guys. Go ahead and comment below. I love hearing from you guys, and I am quick to respond. So if you have any questions or anything that uh, about this reading, you know, comment below. I love chatting with you guys. All right, so I am going to close up shop here, um, but I I'm going to... This channel is going to definitely take a little bit of a turn, but I will always remain loyal to my tarot readings. It's just definitely going to take a more spiritual studies, um, unity, community, <laughs> educational. Um, so I, I hope you guys embrace the change and uh, stick with us. All right. So shout out. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day and blessed be.